So Puccini's La Rondine is one of those most beautiful operas ever written. Uh, the Italian word La Rondine means the swallow, as in the little tiny bird, and more on that in a moment. But this is right up there with La Boheme, and Tosca, and Madama Butterfly by Puccini. Uh, just yards and yards of beautiful, incredible music. This opera is not produced as often, and maybe that's because it's not as sensational. There's not a murder or a tragic death anywhere, but it is as romantic as can be. You'll come away singing this beautiful music. This opera is probably most famous for one of those iconic Puccini arias. You've heard so many times in concerts, in films. This is the Canzone di Doretta, and it's sung by the heroine Magda, who is a, a young, gorgeous uh, Parisian courtesan. Her friend, Prunier, is a poet. He sits down at the piano and, and sings his poem, and he says he needs to find an ending. Magda sings for him about how the poem should end, and she's singing about this character in the poem, Doretta. But we know that she's singing about her own dreams. And as she's singing, this impressionable young man, Ruggiero, is listening. He's a young boy from the country, and of course he falls immediately, hopelessly, in love with Magda. Part of the fun of that aria is that the uh, production department has to figure out how to get an actual piano on stage for Act 1 and then to get it off during Act 2, but don't worry, we'll, we'll figure that out. Ruggiero is brought in to be introduced and Prunier is reading everyone's palms and here comes that part about the swallow, the little bird, because he says to Magda that like the swallow, she will migrate far away from Paris, perhaps to find love. And he tells her, like the swallow flying south to the ocean, you'll find love in a land of dreams bathed in sunlight. And indeed, that's exactly what happens. And from, from this moment, the story of La Rondine is, is very much like the story of Verdi's beloved opera, La Traviata. We have a, a delicious scene in a Parisian cafe where Magda found her first love years ago, and after that, she and her young lover run away to live in bliss in the south of France, and shouldn't we all do exactly that? But of course she's tormented. She's living a lie because she hasn't uh, confessed her sordid past to Ruggiero, and he starts talking about getting married and meeting his family, and she is torn between telling him the truth and trying desperately to hold on to preserving this relationship and this dream. Among the joys of this production is uh, our singer for the role of Magda, Corinne Winters, who is sublime and is well known to opera theater audiences. Nowadays she's really uh, moving into the international limelight as a major opera star, but of course she's one of those singers who got her first ever job uh, in the chorus of Opera Theatre of St. Louis as a Jardine Young Artist. She was promoted into the leading role of Melisande. She was our Michaela in Carmen. She starred in The Kiss, and uh, these days she's on the cover of magazines uh, throughout the world. Then we have a young tenor named Anthony Khalil, who will sing uh, Ruggiero. He recently won the Richard Tucker Prize, the very prestigious honor. He's been recently singing the Magic Flute at the Met, so he'll make his opera theater debut. And then as the sophisticated poet, Prunier, we have our good friend, uh, great tenor, John McVeigh. To me, the main event is who's conducting, and that's our music director, Stephen Lord, uh, who is so well known uh, for doing this kind of romantic music so perfectly. All the glorious music and romantic storytelling that have made Puccini's operas perennial hits all over the world, together with a very special Opera Theatre of St. Louis cast and, and crew of artists. I, I can't wait.